In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how a user registers to your BuddyPress site and even how you customize the registration form by adding more questions to it. And this is part of the BuddyPress playlist. Links to the whole playlist are found down below in the description of this video, so check those out. And right now we're getting started on user registration. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's register these users on your BuddyPress site. I'll see you in the screen capture. Now the next thing we have to do is actually allow people to sign up and make sure they can sign up. So if we go back into the dashboard, we have to go to settings, and then general, I believe. Yeah, general, and under this membership section here, we have to make sure this is checked. Anyone can register. If they can't register here, then they can't join your social network. So it doesn't work. I mean, it's not gonna work. They can't join. So make sure that is checked. Now I'm gonna open in a new browser in Firefox, the site, and we're gonna see what the experience is like for a user who just joined. So we're gonna make a brand new user account. So here's that new theme we installed. We have up here, login and register links. Remember these ones appear for people who are logged out. And if we go back to being logged in, all of these menu items appear when someone is logged in. So BuddyPress automatically switches those out for you. You don't have to do anything to do that. Just have to add them to your menu. So we can either log in if we have an account or alternately, if they wanna make an account, they register. And these are the default fields that are required when someone joins you can actually add more fields. So let's say for the username, I mean, these are, these are standard here, username, email, password, password. The profile details, we just have a name. Maybe you wanna have in there your favorite color or gender or whatever else. You can add as many as you want. Don't wanna add too many because then people won't sign up. But you can add as many as you want. If we head over to users on the main dashboard, we go to profile fields, which is a link that BuddyPress has added. Click on add field. We can call this, what's your favorite color? Description, not really needed. You can choose what type of box it is. In this case, text box makes the most sense. Make it required or not required. I'm gonna make it required here. And visibility is the ability to make this field visible when someone registers, visible to everybody on your network. So if, if you keep this at everyone, that means if someone puts in the color blue here, Anybody else on the network that visits their profile can see that they chose the color blue. The second option, allow members to override or enforce visibility. So if you allow them to override, they can actually select whether they want that visible or not. By default, it will be, but they can turn that off. If you use enforce field visibility, that means they can't turn it off. Whatever you choose here, they cannot change. So this allows users to change settings. This allows them to change nothing in regards to visibility. They can choose different visibility settings. And this last section here, auto link. So if you, we auto link this and some, someone entered the color blue as their favorite color, on their profile, there'll be a link that says blue as the answer to this question. If someone clicks on that link, it's then gonna search member, member directory for everybody who likes the color blue. So that makes sense for some of these questions and responses. For some, it doesn't. Just pick the one that's right for you, then click on save. Now, if we head back out to our registration page here and refresh, we now have another field added. What's your favorite color? And like I said, you can add as many as you want. Here, where we set everyone can see it, the user can change this to who they want to see. If we go back, just to prove to you how this works, go back and edit this, what's your favorite color? Change this to enforce the visibility, and then click on update. Now we head back out here and refresh, this change button's gonna be gone. So they cannot change the visibility of this. Everybody will see their favorite color. So that's enough lollygagging, let's actually make a user account. I'm gonna call this account George. Add a email address that is probably not fake. So George might actually get an email. I'm gonna make this, make sure it's a fake one, george at george.com. And then we choose the password. So we have, as you saw, mismatch capability. So it, it checks to make sure they're both the same. Then it also checks to make sure, or the checks to assess the strength of the password. Very weak, that's fine. George and blue. Click on complete sign up for this person to complete their sign up. And that's how easy it is for people to register for your social network that you just created. 
So here it says you successfully created your account. To begin using the site, you will need to activate your account via the email we've just sent to your email address. So it's not good to have a fake email in there, which is good because it prevents or reduces the likelihood of spammers signing up for your account. However, we also have to manage signups in here inside BuddyPress. So click on manage signups. Then we see George here. George has just signed up, shows the date he registered. We've sent him one email, which is the activation email, but we can also activate George manually by clicking on activate right here. And here's George's information, his email address, his favorite color. Click on confirm to activate George. Now we have no pending accounts. We have three participant accounts. If you click on there, George should be in there. George is not in there. George is a subscriber, is a subscriber. Search for George. Here's George in our participants list. Now what George can do, now that we've activated it, this will work after he clicks the link in the email as well, is he can go ahead and log in. So I'm just gonna click on this login link here. And now we can type in George's info, George, and then the password and log in. So now the menu up here changed, as you see, it was logged in register before, but now George is logged in. Up here in the top right, it says, howdy George. And we have all these things that we had earlier and we're on the home page. But we wanna to get to George's activity. So we click on activity and these menus can all be changed. And they, even the, the login, like when someone logs in, you can have them redirected to a specific page using another plugin, but it can all be changed. So that's how users register to your BuddyPress site and how you can customize the registration form. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. And again, this is part of a playlist, so check out the rest of the BuddyPress videos in this playlist. They're all very helpful. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and we'll see you in the next video.